Hi, everybody. My name is Coach Shane, and I want to tell you about our most popular lessons, our most popular class. It's called DDM, right here, Daily Dictation Members, DDM. Uh, this class is amazing. It's fantastic. Basically, uh, it's a news story or part of a sitcom. And I give you a script, but not the entire script. This section, you need to listen and dictate. And it's not just this. It goes on and goes on and goes on. So this is actually short. It's only two pages. Right? So it's just a very, very short assignment. Now, we do have the advanced version, all right? And this is for students who are really good, where basically everything is in blanks, okay? Uh, and I also want to show you, uh, I've got to dig it out here. We've got uh, a, the sitcom that we do. Let me bring out the blanks. There we go. And when it's a sitcom, it's a little bit, it's, it's the same thing. You get this dialogue, but sometimes I give you nice big sections to listen to. There's descriptions, lots of dictation. Yeah. So typically for DDM, for an assignment, I give you four sections, sometimes five sections to dictate. So if we look here, we got one two, three, four, and that continues, yeah, and that's it, okay? So this one is four pages long. There are four sections to dictate, all right? That's for the normal uh, version. The advanced version, of course, has more. Uh, back on this assignment, uh, we had uh, one, two, and this is actually three, four, four sections here too. So it doesn't really matter. I try to give you four sections for dictation. So the assignment goes out, you get the video file and the MP3 file, and then you do the dictation. Some people write their, an they print out the copies and they write their answers. Some people just download it and they write their answers with the computer. Yeah, you can do it. Some people use a tablet, uh, like a iPad, and they write their answers on that. There are many, many different ways to do that. Why is dictation important? Dictation is actually really important for high level, higher level students, for intermediate and advanced. Because a lot of intermediate and advanced students, they're, they have some confidence in their English. But when they're speaking, they make those silly mistakes, little grammar mistakes. They leave out things. They leave out the S. They forget the uh, they forget the the, or they confuse. When do I say uh, when do I say the, when do I say this, when do I say that, when do I say there, here, oh, I'm confused. Little tiny things, in, on, and, an, an, n, right? In, on, in, over, up, at, it, uh, 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 uh. so many tiny mistakes are made. DDM is perfect because it's going to show you exactly what and where you make those mistakes, okay? So by doing this dictation, after you do the dictation, you send it to me. I check everybody's dictation. I look for the mistakes that people make. And then I give you the answers. So this is 735. I'm getting to be an old man. I have to go up and down like this so I can read. And then I come up and I give you the answers. I show you the answers. And in the, vi in the answers video, if I actually, I think I have that file. I'll show you exactly what I do with the students. Give me a second here. 735. I got so many windows. It's crazy. Where's my AAA file? Here we go. So this is the actual answers file that I did for the students. So I gave them these answers. A lot of students made a mistake here. For some was a problem. Two was a problem. Gate, touchless was a huge problem. It, huge problem. Takes, lots of people missed it. Uh, they, they'll, cooling, they'll. These were the most common problems. Not everybody made a mistake, but most people did. Over 50% of the people had a problem with these words. Mandated, uh, extreme excitement, temperature, sensors, detect. That was easy. It, two, 
Veil. Uh. They. That was the problem. <laughs> it's the easy words. And once again, even the advanced students make these mistakes. These are mistakes you do not want to make because they're so simple, right? Yeah, that's a big problem. Um, once again, the next section here, the big problems, the, it, where you, roaming. Oh, that's a little bit of a vocabulary word. Uh, seating and sitting. That's pronunciation problem. Seating, sitting. N, app. Uh, that shouldn't be missed. You, canvassing. Yeah, that's a new word. With, uh, temporary. Now, that's because of the pronunciation. With, uh, the, this is a proper noun, are, and then this entire sentence uh, killed everybody. That was a tough one, though. So dictation shows you where your weaknesses are. And they could be related to pronunciation. They could be related to grammar. If it's a new word or a new phrase, don't worry about it. There's always something to learn. So I give you the answers. I make an answers video. We talk about the pronunciation. We talk about the American pronunciation. As you know, Americans don't say international. We say international. We get rid of the T. We cancel the T, right? Uh, we don't say com. Well, we do, but I'll give you another word. Family. We say family. So I talk about these shortened pronunciation uh, reasons, cancellation, blending of sounds. I talk about all of that. And you learn. You learn exactly how Americans speak. And we go through the entire thing. At the end, I give you a glossary. And this is a dictionary of all the words and expressions that we're learning. Okay? Amusement parks, gearing up, phrasal verb, surge, navigate, activities. In this case, activities is an easy word, but sometimes in the story, it has a different meaning. So always double check the glossary. Um, and I give you some questions to bonus questions. Does your car have any sensors? What's a common sensor at a grocery store? These are bonus questions that you can answer. So day one, I give you the assignment. Day two, I give you the answers. And day three, I give you the explanation. And let me go ahead and dig out that file. There we go. And in the explanation, um, oh, yeah, so this was straightforward. A little bit of explaining right there. I, I talked about the word splurge. Um, and then I talked about these days. We have three days here. And I asked the students in the answers video, I asked the members, what do these days mean? Do they mean the same thing? And the first day is visitors. The second day is visitors. But the third day might be different. It could be visitors. It could be sensors. It could be staff. So we talk about the nuance, the extra hidden meaning among many of these words. Uh, keep in mind and keep in your mind. Huge difference between these two expressions. And I give a bunch of examples on how these are different. We talk about the number 1,200. Uh, when do you say 100 with four numbers? When do you say 100 all the time? If you have four numbers, can you always say 100? No. So I gave the idea here. I explained that situation. Um, canvas is a new verb for almost everybody. Instead of ahead, what can we say? So I give you lots of little questions, and, and this assignment was pretty simple. It's a fun assignment. Uh, we're talking about amusement parks, especially after COVID-19. So that was a pretty simple assignment. And did you see in the very beginning? And we got a lot of stuff up here. What's all this? This is bonus stuff. LTA. Let's talk about it. And this is simply a question. What's the best amusement park in your country? Have you been there? Is it cheap? And then you make an audio response. And then you upload it and share it with me and I listen to it. And I actually make an LTA podcast where we talk, uh, where I talk about what you talked about. Uh, we have a writing mastery with DDM. This is uh, for some students, they need to write. And this is a fantastic writing course. Uh, it, it basically works with summaries, uh, making a summary of an assignment. Uh, so it focuses on your ability to summarize. And if you think about most aspects of writing, it is about summarization. 
I have an EVC, everyone's vocab, vocabulary challenge. And I go through the assignment and I pick five words, phrases, or expressions. In this case, I picked gearing up, keep in mind, work up an appetite, you can bet, and let loose. And what I did in the assignment, uh, let's get out of here, though. go to the assignment, um, I, I have these sentences, the EVC quiz. And you have to figure out these five blanks, which of these expressions go in there. Sometimes you need to change the grammar. So instead of gearing up down here, it, it might be gears up. Or it could be worked up an appetite. Uh, or we can bet. Uh, uh, yeah, so, so we sometimes have to change the grammar, so you got to be careful. And students generally do a really, really good job with that, where's the explanation? I lost it. Here we go. Anyway, uh, with that, students generally do a good job. Um, so uh, once again, uh, day one, assignment. Day two, answers. Day three, explanation, where I explain everything, I show you all the answers, and I, I make the assignment super simple. I give you the answers here. We talk about that. But there's more. There's also... Uh, a writing challenge for the EVC. And you are supposed to take this phrase and create your own sentence to see if you're using it correctly. And this is a bonus challenge that students can also do. So not only do you get the dictation, but there's also a speaking challenge. There's also a quiz to check your understanding of these phrases. And there's a writing challenge to see if you actually know how to create a sentence using these phrases. So it is an excellent, excellent assignment. Now, DDM, we have six new lessons every month. Basically, Monday, a new lesson. Thursday, a new lesson. So Monday, lesson goes out. Tuesday, the answers. Wednesday, the explanation. And then, boom, we go again on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday is off. And the last week of the month is off too. But we also have live classes that you can join and you can practice. You can ask questions. You can practice pronunciation. You can, uh, some of the teachers, I do this, uh, we do role play or I'll say, all right, uh, John, you read this one. Mary, you read this. Uh, Dan, you read this one. And, and I let everybody read so I can hear your pronunciation and, and we talk about it, answer a lot of questions. It's fantastic. This is DDM. It is absolutely our most popular course. It is not for beginners. It is for intermediate and advanced students. Every assignment, there's something amazing to learn. Extremely rarely does anyone get 100% correct in the dictation. It happens. And it's usually the same two or three guys. Actually, it's two guys and one woman. They're really good. Uh, and they're not, they can't cheat. Sometimes, you know, you can find scripts online, but I like to find things where there is no script. So they're doing the work. Maybe the guys are married to American women, the woman is married to an American guy, and they're having their husband or wife help them. I don't know. It's not easy, but they many times do a really super job. Uh, now, one guy has lived in the United States for 30 years. Uh, the, another one is an English teacher. And another guy, I think he's a lawyer. Uh, he's, a, uh, he's a businessman. Uh, yeah. Um, and he comes to America a lot. So they have so much experience in using English. That's why their listening is really good, but still. They make mistakes and they still tell me, oh my God, you know, work up an appetite. I've heard this expression so many times. I didn't really catch it. Now I know. And oh my God, it's so common. And they love it. DDM is really fantastic. It's a class that you need to join. It's so much fun. And I want to see you there. So join. If you have any questions, you can uh, send me an email. All right. Send me an email right here. Daily dictation members at gmail.com. All right. Don't forget the S. It's daily 
you don't need to capitalize it, dictation members, don't forget the S, uh, at gmail.com. Send me a, uh, an email and I'll send you a free lesson. You can try this lesson. You can try 735 if you want. Um, that's this lesson here. And and join us. Uh, level up your English. Upgrade your English. It's it's important. Uh, you know, you want to be able to hear people and understand what they're saying. We get into so much nuance, pronunciation, everything. It's it's really the perfect class, the most popular class. It'll keep you busy. It'll take about uh, thirty minutes a day at least. Yep. If you can invest thirty minutes a day, DDM is perfect. It will help you so much. Like I said, there are six new lessons every month, but actually we make more lessons, older lessons available to you too. Look at this, 735. That means you have already missed over 700 lessons, but don't worry, we'll make them available to you uh, step by step. So yeah, join us. If you're watching this in June of 2021, right now we are having our summer sale. It is fantastic. Uh, so we want you to join. You can, and that's easy to find. Just go to letsmasterenglish.com. Letsmasterenglish.com. You can go there. There's a sale button. Boom. You can uh, choose DDM at the top and join us. It's absolutely fantastic. I want to see you in the lessons. Before you join, try a lesson for free. Send me an email. I'll send you one. And again, my name is Coach Shane. I hope to see you soon. Take care, guys. Have a great summer. Bye-bye.